The SurfNet network consists of two layers. The optical layer illuminates the optical fibers. The service layer offers services to the institutions. Both are in need of an upgrade. In 2017, we'll implement the new optical layer. In 2018, we'll take on the service layer. What will the process for the optical layer look like? First, we'll test the new platform on an optical fiber that isn't in use yet. Next, we'll simulate the migration scenario in our lab. Then, we'll begin the actual implementation, migrating the optical layer one branch at a time. Branches are chains of locations between two major hubs in the network. Inside each branch, the optical layer is migrated step by step, migrating one connection between two locations before moving on to the next one. We'll visit each location three times to install the new equipment, to migrate to the new equipment, and to pick up the old equipment. First, we'll install the new equipment at each location. Then, we'll migrate the optical layer to the new equipment. For each location, the migration consists of two steps. First, we migrate the left side, then the right side. What does this mean for institutions? During the switchover, the optical connection between two locations is briefly interrupted. However, services are protected or redundant. This means that traffic is always possible through another route. Services experience a brief resilience loss of 10 to 15 minutes. As soon as the new equipment is connected, resilience is restored. Using this approach, we'll cover each branch from left to right. We'll repeat this process for the entire optical layer, working branch by branch and location by location. The majority of this work will take place between July and November. By working during the daytime, we can reduce the burden on the institutions and complete the optical migration more quickly. As soon as the new equipment is connected, we'll stop by one last time to pick up the old equipment. This is how we'll implement the new optical layer in 2017. In 2018, we'll take on the implementation of the new service layer. More on this later.